So I wanted to see if I could get a plastic bag to look like a fire. I started experimenting with different types of plastic bags to see what would happen. In this video, I'll show you some of the experiments that I ran, some of the things that worked, and some of the things that didn't. Initially, I thought I would put a light on a box fan and then blow strips upward to look like flames. One strip of plastic works, but if you get multiple, they all twist up on each other. Plastic gets heavy and falls. That's when I started to take a bag and see what I could do with that. Bag is round, so I decided to take a round fan instead of a square one. The bag's just a little bit too small, but we'll just go ahead and tape it on anyway. Now when we turn on the fan, it puffs up like one of those lawn ornaments. You know, like the Santa Claus that waves at you. It's got a nice shape, but it doesn't look like fire. I'm gonna go ahead and put slots in this and see if I can get some fire action going on. It kind of feels like I'm sculpting something, but it's really thin. When I open up one of the tabs, it starts to give a little bit of a flame look. And I'm hoping that this tube will keep all the plastic from touching each other. Once they touch, they wind, they get heavy, and they fall. Now I'm finding that when the tabs are getting too long, they fall. If the tabs get too long, they fall. So I start to shorten them just a little bit and see how much flame action I can get without them dropping down. I also started playing with the amount of air. Extra air really doesn't help that much. And I also wanna see how far down I can go because this tube is what actually structures the entire flame shape. So just like when you're building anything, it never works the first time, so you just kinda fail your way forward. Some people think of failure as a bad thing. Well, let me tell you, without failure, you would have no innovations. If you're afraid to fail, get over it. In this next experiment, I wanted to try a thicker plastic to see how that would work. It's a bigger diameter, but probably twice the thickness. Initially, it looked like the experiment was running the same as the thinner one. But when I start to release these into tabs, they really want to fall down. I also wanted to see if I could gather them all up at the top and cut them all at one time to see if that would give me a better looking flame. With this plastic so thick, I think I'm gonna have to use scissors. Once I get it cut, you can see that the thick plastic just wants to fall. So far, we know that we need really thin plastic and the tube has to be a pretty good height. You can see how much better the thin plastic with the higher tube works. The flame tabs also need to be pretty short. So at this point, I think we have something really simple that works. We'll just need to fine tune the height of the tabs. Now, of course, a fire isn't clear, so I'm gonna add a little bit of red paint. Now, I don't wanna go too heavy on the paint or it'll drop. If you put too much paint on too fast, it starts to stick. I'm kinda of liking the red. So I'll put in a little yellow and see what that looks like. Now, I really don't wanna get any yellow paint on my fan. So I'll keep the color a little bit more at the top of the flame. So the next thing I'll do is I'll experiment with some lights inside, but that'll be for another video. Well, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.